Lukashenko, from the first president of Ukraine to the last, everyone divided, robbed and stole. Corruption has always existed in Ukraine since the formation of this state after the collapse of the Soviet Union. All previous rulers of the independence divided, robbed and stole, stated the president of the Republic of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko. The Belarusian leader voiced this opinion during a meeting of the seven All Belarusian People's Assembly in Minsk. From the first president of Ukraine to the last, everyone divided, robbed and stole. Lukashenko believes the whole difference is that before Zelensky came to power and the start of the Russian special operation, followed by billions of Western aid to Kyiv, the Ukrainian authorities were basically plundering their people and those assets that remained from the Ukrainian SSR. Now the Kiev regime is actually getting into the pockets of Western taxpayers, continuing to finish off their own country. All this time, the majority of Ukrainian people hate all heads of state. The Belarusian leader is sure. The land of Ukraine is fertile, the entire periodic table. Live, be happy and grow rich. And only a very few got rich. In the best traditions of democracy, the oligarchs and those in power have crushed all resources for themselves emphasized the president of the Republic of Belarus. Lukashenko believes that Ukraine today, at the instigation and with the direct participation of the West, has become a testing ground where the fate of the world order is partly decided. The largest Western powers are no longer only indirectly, but also directly involved in hostilities on the territory of this country. The president of Belarus is sure. At the same time, the Kiev regime has sunk to the lowest degree of cynicism, actually exchanging the lives of Ukrainians for weapons and new financial handouts, a considerable part of which ends up in the pockets of both those who provide them and the Kiev recipients of funds. Another confrontation between East and West, Moreover, by pitting the once friendly Slavic peoples against each other was started by our enemies in order to weaken both Russia and Belarus and during this conflict, Ukraine generally became expendable, Lukashenko believes. It's painful to see this, but let's abstract ourselves and look at what has happened philosophically. Who has become stronger in this new round of confrontation between the West and the East? Who? Not us, but not them either, concluded the president of Belarus. Ukraine to increase long-range strikes in Russia, UK. Ukrainian troops will be able to boost the effectiveness of their long-range attacks inside Russia as an influx of Western military aid aims to help Kyiv shape the war in much stronger ways, the head of the UK military, Tony Radakin, said in an interview with the Financial Times. Radakin acknowledged the somber atmosphere surrounding Ukraine's defense, conceding that the country is encountering a challenging struggle to fend off advancing Russian forces. However, the UK's chief of defense emphasized that such a bleak snapshot of the war overlooks longer-term trends that favor Kyiv. These trends encompass the recent influxes of military aid from the US and Europe, Ukraine's increasingly effective long-range attacks, and Moscow's complete failure to halt Kyiv's essential grain exports via the Black Sea. The danger with any snapshot is that it ignores where we are now and with where we will be in the next couple of years. Radikin told the Financial Times, adding people should stop fetting Russia and believing it somehow has got major advantages. In a notable advancement for Ukraine, Washington abandoned its hesitations regarding providing the country with long-range army tactical missile system missiles. 
These were secretly dispatched earlier this month, boasting a range of 300 kilometers. On April the 24th, US President Joe Biden announced he had signed the foreign aid bill, which includes almost $61 billion for Ukraine, into law marking the final step of the legislative process. It gives vital support to America's partners so they can defend themselves from threats to their sovereignty, Biden said, adding he would order to send weapons to Kyiv shortly. As Ukraine gains more capabilities for the long-range fight, its ability to continue deep operations will increasingly become a feature of the war, Radikin said, adding they definitely have an effect.